All right, we are at the body shop, <clears throat> and uh, we went ahead and originally ran these cables. One goes to the detail shop. That's like 3,000, 4,000 feet away. It's a pretty, uh, maybe it's more like 2,500, 2,500, 3,000. Um, and then we have a six count that goes to the training center. The training center, it's a pretty good hike too. It's probably more like 1,500, 2,000. Um, and then we have our uh, six count. These are six count and eight count cables, very strange ones. Uh, this is the product of uh, COVID. Um, and I went ahead and ran these in. I did this a really long time ago. And uh, I just got my slack up on the ceiling and just kind of take it all in for a second. I'm going to be, there's lots of different rims here, lots of different vehicles. Oh, we got the AMGs. I mean, they're, that's probably like three or four hundred bucks each, like at least. Cool. Well, um, uh, this is, um, again, Bryant inherited all this stuff. You know, we got some things that are here just to make something work so he can move on to something else, I'm sure. Uh, looks like this is some multi-mode fiber that I have no idea where it goes to. Um, so it looks like it's sad. Oh wow, they didn't even splice. They they just uh, made um, made their own little pig, pigtails. Looks like um, there's a little uh, little LC tray. I'm gonna ask Brian where he got that because that's kind of neat. And um, he does, he's got his FS in here. He uses this FS to receive uh, 10 gig optic from us. Uh, it's on a biddy. And uh, we're, he's only got a one gig service, but we used a 10 gig optic in case he needed to upgrade. And um, he's got a, a biddy down here, hooked to a media, media converter, it looks like. I think that's a temporary situation. Um, and then this is what I did quite a while ago. It's been two years, I'd say. And uh, uh, it just so happens that I've got enough fiber in here to not have to run a new cable. So I um, was able to, I used my uh, trusty zip tie and I unwound all the slack in this tray. And if you see, um, there is six, I saw that little piece of something. There is six fibers spliced um, that go to the body shop. There's six fibers spliced that go to the training center. And then there's one fiber spliced for a DIA uh, situation. And I know that because I did uh, blue to the pink. And if you look over here, pink's all by himself. And that pink is his DIA. And uh, so I do have some spares back there. I'm gonna probably just go ahead and use the top one to eliminate any type of confusion with the DIA. And uh, because it's an eight count cable and I know I got six, I got my red and my black, I'm not gonna be using that, but I'll put it in last. And if we look right here, yeah, I have five fibers. So I'm gonna skip orange and just go ahead and use uh, green, green and brown here, green and brown, green and brown, and I'm going to go ahead and outside splice green and brown to the sweat that we did yesterday. And uh, at that point, I will also be leaving him, well I didn't bring it, um, I've got my trusty uh, FS pigtails, uh, and I did pick up some of these, sorry I don't know what that was, I guess there's an air compressor over there. Um, I did pick up a handful of these. This is the newer version of that tray, I believe, um, because it looks like it's got like rubber holders, but this is the original one that FS sold. Uh, this one does seem a lot nicer. It's thicker. It's just visually, this is only like $4 or something, $3. 
um, but I'm not going to be using it today. So let's see if we can't uh, put two pigtails on right quick. I have a refrigerator coming and uh, Home Depot said it's two stops away so I gotta make myself available. Alright, well I did my splices and then I had to run home to let the uh, people, I, I thought they had to take my front door off to get the fridge and all kinds of stuff. I got an old house so um, I went ahead and uh, did my two splices, added them in to the tray right there. These are cool because you can double stack all these um, splices and I went ahead and I labeled it 1314 to Kia. Stupid that I got like some of that yarn on there and it won't now stick. Um, and uh, I just went ahead and did green brown pigtails just because it matched color to color and I didn't have to think. Excuse me, think. But um, I did. Uh, uh, my my buddy Bryant um, is uh, super into Mountain Dew. Like he he. He, he drinks them a lot and uh, I found this it's just a, a remnant that he was here an unopened do I will probably uh, take that over to him we'll go see we'll go see him maybe we go see master controls and uh, we'll see if see what he's got to show us and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this uh, cover back on and uh, we'll go over to Mercedes which is where his office is. Um, there is a Kia, there's a Ford, there's a there's a detail shop, there's a body shop, there's a training center, there's um, a used car uh, place, and then there's there's Hyundai, and I want to say there's a Subaru maybe. Um, so yes, this is the largest uh, conglomerate in in town by far. Well, we are. Uh expanding pretty pretty quickly um, we are going to be moving into um, a new pop and we are leasing fiber on this uh, particular build um, so every time we lease uh, fiber um, we're always uh, mux to muxing it so what I'm doing is just kind of staging uh, what we're going to be doing so I'm um, going to have a single fiber uh, on my line and that's gonna go on a ring oh, I wish I knew the distance um, it's more than 15 kilometers it's more than 20 kilometers I think um, but it's less than 40 and we're gonna be going from our, this is our DMUX um, this is our MUX and I went ahead and I'm just breaking down boxes so I can Put it all into one box but uh same concept this is a uh, line is going to go to our fiber that we're leasing and i'm going to be using uh, c29 and c31 um, to go from mux to demux now i'm going to also be dropping off channels uh, c21 23 25 27 this is my East Mux, and I'm going to be dropping these off at my Odom. The Odom is located roughly in the middle of this whole operation, so the plan is I'm going to be taking uh, 2 times 10. I'm going to make a, 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 10, a 2 times 10 uh, lag, um, and this is going to go passively through the pop that's in the middle. Um, I'll be able to also add up to 410. Um, gig channels in the pop in the middle and that will allow us to um, uh, do quite a bit there uh, how we're going to be running all this is with these two um, I have a, th a th third one um, so basically one of these switches is going to be located at our um, CO like our main site and uh, we're going to use um, two of these FS uh, optics we got uh, 29 and 31 um, that are going to inject uh, 15 uh, 15 54.13 and something else 
Um, they are code. I got them to code them for Arista. Um, so we'll see how that goes uh, when this gets all uh, rigged up. Uh, basically, I'm just going to take uh, two ports, make a lag, two ports, make a lag. Um, this one will be at our CO. This one will be at our um, current pop that we already have. Um, and then in sandwiched in between. Uh, so basically, this will get a this will be mux. This will be demux. Um, and then sandwiched in between of that, I'll have another Arista with the similar setup. Basically, it'll be taking um, two. Uh, I'll be able to come right here, uh, grab my two 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 times ten um, out of the switch. Um, that will be this one. So pretty much this one will have four optics in it. Um, this one will only have two optics in it, and the one in the middle will only have two optics. Um, and I've, over here I've got the opposites. Um, I only got, uh, this is what we need to make work right now. I need to get um, uh, more than one gig but less than 10 from this uh, site to this site reliably with one fiber. So fortunately, um, uh, this is the most economical way uh, to accomplish that because I am able to get uh, eight 10 gig channels over that single fiber. Um, I can also use this uh, expansion port, come out of that, put another eight port mux, so I can get 16 channels on that same uh, fiber if I need to, but I doubt we'll ever need more than eight. And if we ever get to eight, um, my solution is to actually get, le go ahead and lease a second fiber because it's that's more of a logical solution if it's one fiber and it's gonna bring down uh, 16 channels across town. I don't, I don't need that in my life. Um, and just so that I can think about this uh, better, I went ahead and I got my patch cables. I'm not plugging anything in, but I just want to make sure that um, I have uh, my patch cables. So this site is going to be my uh, uh, MUX, uh, MUX site, and it's going to go into our current um, uh, uh, central office um, and then over here is going to be my uh, demux it's going to go into our new pop and I got a couple cables for it too um, so yeah I don't know well I'll, I'll try to keep track of this um, the pops I don't think I'm allowed to do any recording in that's probably for the best um, my, my CO I can record all I want I guess but um, I do have these um, uh, already updated to the current, uh, the end of life uh, firmware. Um, got some really cool subscribers that hooked me up with that. Uh, Zippity Doo, uh, I believe, sent me that. And um, I really appreciate that. That was, pre that was pretty awesome. Also, I went ahead and there's what's called a magic file. Sort of silly, but you can create a um, license on these by just creating a file, a blank file that says allow third party optics. Um, and so, but I, I did get these coded uh, anyway, but I've also, I've thrown the uh, generic um, uh, 10 gig optics from FS in here and they seem to work. Uh, the biddies work. The um, What I found, one gig DAX work, 10 gig DAX work. Um, what, one thing that didn't work, which was kind of strange, is uh, one gig optics work, two fiber optics, but the one gig biddies do not work. So I might have to get some of those coded. Uh, I'll get a set coded and um, see if they function. According to the documentation, uh, it, it's on there, but the biddies, when these things were, were around, I don't think the biddies were, were really all that popular. Um, or, or maybe they were just really expensive, but, um, I'm going to be working on this, I, I guess next week, some, um, tomorrow we'll be doing some splicing outside, uh, unless it rains, then I might be messing around with this. Uh, well, we're going to be taking this to the, um, uh, office. I'm sorry, this one, we're going to be taking to this uh, pop tomorrow and I might install it and uh maybe i can grab a, a picture of it or something but cool i'm just kind of kind of 
honestly, some of the, sometimes this helps me uh, just when I talk it out loud, uh, it helps my brain think about how to even accomplish um, accomplish this. This will be our third DWDM system. Um, this one will have an odem. Uh, we have one system without an odem and one system with an odem. Uh, so, cool.